Hey everyone, it's PGD here. I'm going to get to this product review right now. This is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask uh, and it says Argan Oil Rich. So we'll, we'll talk about that. But the first thing I just want to ask you, which I forgot at the end of the last video is, if any of you have um, been married in New York City and you had a reception hall where you had a great experience with the people who managed the reception hall and the food was excellent. Can you just let me know? Maybe you can leave a comment at the bottom because my uh, sister is getting married and I, I just want to make sure we have a really great uh, reception hall. The thing that I can tell you is she's having right now the guest list is over 300 we seriously don't want to go 400 and we didn't even put miscellaneous people on the i shouldn't say miscellaneous people but um we didn't even put those people who were on the maybe list on yet and um let's just say i hope we cap it at 350 and don't go over that reception hall and it would be great if they don't charge uh, nearly 200 dollars a plate like What's that place I was looking at? The Palm Room, Botan uh, uh, Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. They have a lovely room. I, I, I didn't go to the space to actually look at it. I was looking at it online. I saw a wedding online. And with the lighting and the flowers, it just all looked really pretty. I know someone who saw a wedding there in person and said it looked beautiful. So, But yeah, but based on the day of the week that we want to have it, a Saturday, and the, um, the um, time of day the uh, plate will be like nearly 200 bucks per plate so yeah for over 300 guests that's not pretty in addition to the other things that we wanted to happen at the wedding so anyway if you have any suggestions please let me know okay on to the review now thanks for listening okay so the moroccan oil um, this one costs $29.99 and the whole point of this is it's supposed to be a creamy treatment that you use to hydrate your hair and repair it if you have any damage but you know especially for people with dry hair this is supposed to be really great I had heard people talking so much about the argan oil and also specifically the Moroccan oil line and so I just had to pick up one of these jars this is the 8.5 ounce and I, I just got this from a beauty supply store in Manhattan uh, you can find this online. I've even seen the Moroccan oil products in Dwayne Reed, the, the larger Dwayne Reeds. Um, they have kind of, I almost feel like they have super stores, like super Walmart. I feel like there's a super Dwayne Reed now because some of them are really large and have some really great brands that they feature in there. Um, not specifically this I'm talking about, but just other um, things that you normally wouldn't see at a store like Dwayne Reed. So anyway, um, I've seen Moroccan oil in such places. Now, if the argan oil had been replaced with, let's say, jojoba or coconut oil, I would not understand this $29.99 price tag. But because the argan oil, it, it, it's just really something that's derived from the argan tree fruit and they break open the seeds and they go through this whole process to grind it down and, and get the oil out. And it's supposed to be an oil that is really rich in uh, fatty acids and vitamin E. It's supposed to be excellent on your skin and on your hair. I've never used it, just the oil by itself. Um, but I, I hope to soon. I plan on ordering some just to see what it's like on its own. But because it's not easily found in every location, like you can find coconut oil or jojoba oil, um, the argan oil is only found in certain regions like Morocco for example Moroccan oil uh, it's found in Morocco that's one location so because it's not um, easily found they charge more when they have to put in products I would have been happier though if argan oil had been a it's not at the bottom of the ingredients list but if it had been a little higher up I would have been happier um, <laughs> but it's the seventh thing on the ingredient list the ingredient list which also includes a cone and a paraben so I wasn't happy about that but other than that, the rest of the ingredients, I mean, um, it had some other seed extract. Sorry to move that from the, the camera. It has glycerin in here, stuff like that. Uh, of course, water. So it's fine. But in terms of the ingredients list, I just didn't like that it had those two bad ingredients. If you're going to combine it with, you know, argan oil, which is supposed to be so good. This is all I have left. I used it a lot. The first time that I used this product, um... I said, whoa, what's all the hype about? Because I didn't feel like my hair, it was okay. It, it was a little soft and, you know, a bit of a shine. But I like to try this under different conditions, meaning I use different uh, con shampoos and different conditioners and different treatments in between just to see what will give me the best result. And 
every time after that first time using this product the first time was not great every time after that my hair um, was wonderful with this product I actually like the results let me just show you the consistency See, you can turn it over and it won't spill out it's thick almost like pudding or something right so see I can't even shake it off my finger so it's a thick product and I would use this on my hair you're supposed to put it in for like five to ten minutes on your hair and on your hair that's been washed you wash your hair you kind of towel dry it a bit blot it out uh, blot out some of the excess water and then put this on for five to ten minutes you can also use heat on it as well and then after the ten minute time period you just wash it right out and uh, it doesn't say don't follow up with a conditioner but there were instances where I followed up with a conditioner or I didn't follow up with a conditioner in other situations and either way my hair came out super after the first time I used it my hair came out super shiny and it came out um, really soft and for days I could smell this scent um, speaking of the scent it smells like uh, definitely I didn't have to look on the ingredients list to tell that it was gonna have some like uh, fragrance added to it and they didn't say that it's an artificial fragrance but I I'm sure that it is it kind of smells too much like a perfume um, so it has a, a heavy scent to it but it's not a bad scent it's almost like a perfume I mean it really just smells like a perfume and um, yeah so and, and it stayed in my hair for a good long time I'd say good long time I'd say about four days maybe five I was still smelling this product in my hair which is impressive because and, and the same for the lossy tone which I'm going to review soon too but um, it's impressive because I put in you know a little, I may put a little moisturizer at the end or a little pomade on the side so I'm adding in other things yet this scent was still overpowering it or maybe I just use way too much Should I you get this product again probably not and it would lo only be because of the cone and the paraben on the list because I found equally great results from the Lossy Tone conditioner which I'll probably review next um, and also not only that but other conditioners too that don't have cones and don't have parabens uh, and I want to see once I purchase the argon oil if I could just include it with one of my other favorite conditioners and see if I would get similar results um, so yeah so it, it was it's certainly not a bad product if you buy it you will likely have good um, results it's just I don't know those two ingredients annoy me and argan oil being the seventh on the ingredients list didn't make me the happiest camper in the world but it, it is a nice product and um, it, it worked it worked for me after that first time when it didn't work but every time thereafter it really did work so I was happy about that if you have any questions or anything that I didn't answer regarding this product please let me know I'll do so quickly let me just say on my wrist I have two lip stains the one with the number two under it is from Mac I don't know if I ever got a chance to mention on camera that Mac now has their lip stains this is runway runway ripened and it's like a berry color in person and I'm not trying to compare the two shades because they're not supposed to be the same shade it's just that um uh, the one with the number two underneath it if it kind of looks like it's fading out it's because it is it's like kind of bleeding on my skin the, whereas the other one the one with the number one underneath it this was really nice this is new from Revlon and here it is and one thing about a product once it's been on the market and people have been you know producing lip stains for a while this is a $16 one people have been producing lip stains but after other companies kind of see what's out there on the market they can improve upon it and what Revlon has done is they have a little chapstick that comes at the other end so you can add it on top of your lip color which is this one the number one and it stays on for a really long time and I like it and you just put this chapstick on top if you'd like to and it just makes your lips shiny and it looks really good the only thing about um, the number one with the number two the Mac one is after I went in the shower and it was like hot and steamy um, the color completely was removed from my lips and that was not good so I didn't appreciate that at all but that was not the case with the Revlon one the Revlon one is actually really good and I don't know if it's just so good because it's new on the market and so when I got it from the store it was really fresh because it was very juicy and um, gave me lots of liquid and it seems really good the only thing I don't like about the chapstick part is that you cannot bring the stick down or up it's at this level that's where it is so if you're putting the cap back on and it like falls or hits the thing it will can completely break off your little chapstick piece so I'm surprised Revlon didn't uh, improve upon that idea but maybe next time the other thing I should say is the Mac one is $16 and the Revlon one is um, $8.99 I got it at like just CVS so I'll talk to you soon bye